Hi guys, it's Ben. I'm going to do a quick overview of the Legion of the Damned, or as they were in the Index, the Damned Legionnaires, because they're not in the uh, subsequent books thereafter, unfortunately. However, I'll go over the quick stats. Movement 5, Weapon Skill 3+, plus, plus Skill 3+, plus, Strength 4, Toughness 4, 2. Uh, attacks for everyone apart from the Sergeant, who gets 3. Uh, 1 Wound, Leech at 10, and a 3+, plus save. Now that 3+, plus save is a invulnerable save, not an armor save. So if you've got something that ignores an invun, these guys will not get a save, as far as I'm aware. They can be armed with a bolt pistol, bolt gun, uh, flamer, heavy flamer, melter gun, multi-melter, plasma pistol, standard or supercharged. Uh, it's the same as normal, standard strength 7, both AP minus 3, 1 damage for that, and the supercharge is just a strength 8. However, it does 2 damage, uh, but on the roll of a 1, you guys slain effectively. Uh, you could also have the Plasma Pistol, Storm Bolter, Chainsword, Power Axe, Power Fist, found normally on the old Metal Minches, Power Mauls, probably the same again, Power Swords, which we do have um, one of such that I've done with a Power Sword. And then you've got the Frag and Crack Grenades. Now, unfortunately, instead of using the lovely Codexes, which we were kind of hoping we'd be able to utilize, Unfortunately, we've still got to use the Index, but by far one of the coolest units in the game. And unfortunately, really not supported very well. And also rather expensive point-wise. I think it's somewhere just under 20 points each. Might be 19. Um, I need to check that. But again, these guys are just not supported. Really not. Um, you can still buy them. They don't seem to be supported rule wise or any other kind of way really. It's a real shame because they are still by far one of my favourite units. There's so much fluff going on. The kit looks great. I never have to uh, modify them at all. I've based a custom homebrew chapter around the same kind of paint scheme. However, I had to paint my own flames on. Not on these, but on my actual uh, Primaris. But um, yeah, it's a real shame because these guys have got so much flavour. I love how the fact that underneath their armour, they are literally skeletons as such. Now the theory is, the Firehawk chapter went into the warp in their battle barge. And yeah, basically, they got consumed uh, by a plague. And there was not much left of them, to say the very least. So there's a consideration that they're either... Imperial Demons, or they are an anomaly that's yet to be explained by the Inquisition because they keep trying to track them down, or that they are the manifestations of the, uh, the Emperor's will, but I personally believe it is a case of they are the last hope, prayers, and the last very limit of what humans will uh, accept and hope for in a dire situation where nothing else can quite do. Now, the fluff goes that they could be stamped on by whatever. They were shot in one case by a, I think it was a Warlord Titan, uh, and they survived. Now, Games Workshop has only given them one wound. They personally, I think they'd need at least two or three, probably two to be fair, but keeping their three up in run save. Just remember, if you do buy them, you can still get them. You'll get resin ones. Uh, people are selling them on eBay for a lot more than they cost. Don't bother with that. Just get them from source. They'll be cheaper. They're about one of the only places you'll get them as well, especially at that price. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye.